Creating credit roles inside of Sony Vegas is now far easier than it has been before, and this is mainly because they've added a feature to be able to import text files. So I can create text files in, say, Microsoft Word. I need to save it as a .txt file, not a .x file or a .doc file or whatever, but a .txt file. When I save it as a .txt file, a text file, I can then import that into the credit role generator and then I can use that straight inside Sony Vegas. And if I need to make a change, I can make changes inside the, the, the credit roll itself and then export that as a document ready to be saved or edited as I need later on. And not only that, you can also export styles. So if you create a title style to go at the end of a particular program that you're working on, and you're going to be doing numbers of these programs, you can save the style as a .xml file and then import that in next time you need to do your next title credit roll. OK, so it, it's really quite powerful what can be done. So I have actually created a file. I'm using Microsoft Word, and here is my file. Now, the forward slash forward slash is saying this line is not going to be recognized or paid any attention to by the credit roll. OK, so any line that begins with slash slash is ignored and is there as a comment purely for you only, OK, for whoever sees the file. So I've put this as a sample credit roll for demonstration. And I've called the program burning because it's going to go over this background that I've got here. And notice that I've changed the font size of this bit here. That's the subtitle, a hot place. OK, so that's the main title is burning. The subtitle is a hot place. And then what you can't see very clearly is that I've actually separated everything by a tab. So I did starring tab as Bill tab something, John tab himself, Kelly tab someone else, Linda tab Frank, Tom tab Frederick. OK, so I've saved all of this as a credit roll, but I did it like this. I went file, save as, and then I made sure, it's on my desktop, made sure that I saved it as .txt. OK, you've got all the different options here, but it must be .txt to be able to use inside of this credit roll generator. So I'm going to click save. Well, it's already been saved. Western European, that's fine. OK, great, done. So I can just move that to one side at the moment. Now I can bring in any one of these titles that I like. So I'm going to bring in this one that's got plain scrolling on back. In fact, what we might want to do is say actually put it on um, transparent so we can still see the fire. So I'm going to put the transparent one there. There it is. And you can see as you pull it through, pull the cursor through, we've got the various bits and pieces working in there. OK, so it's a scrolling credit, but it's got default titles in there. So what we need to do is look at these items up here. These two green ones are for importing. The red ones are for exporting. If you see the A, it's telling you it's for importing text and exporting text. This one here is for the styles. You can import a style. You can export a style. So I'm going to import my text. and I'm going to navigate to my credit roll, double click to import that. And instantly, as you can see, it's updated everything straight away here. It's coming through, and I can see starring as, and it's all sorted out. We can even see that the justification on this side is different to the justification on this side. So it's all worked out perfectly. I can change how wide it is here, so I can pull it in closer or further apart. I can play with either side to create a different look. I can also go in and change different bits and pieces with the styles. Now, it's not completely free from problems. So, for instance, if I change burning and I double click that I've got it at a single item let's hope it's a single item we can see it's a single item it could be a header I could maybe change it as a header well let's do a single item anyway double click to change it let's change its font color to say green dark green okay click here to accept it notice it's done both items and the same will be true for these ones here so if I do starring it says dual items here even if I change it to single item and I try and change it to a different color say blue light blue and you see that what that's done is it, it's changed whatever has got this particular item to it so if I was to click here I can change that to a header okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take burning and I'm going to change burning to a header okay you now see burning is a header hot plate is the subtitle I could also perhaps make those subtitles as well but then I lose the as okay and then what I might want to do is go here and cl click in here and go as 
and then I could go through all the rest of them and I could change the various styles that I want and if I want to change the jewel items I can just go in and say actually you know what I want all those jewel items to be sort of a uh, yeah sort of more of a let's go for a cyan color there we go and they'll all change so you don't actually need to select them it doesn't make any difference about selecting them as long as you've got the appropriate drop down here you can change things accordingly you can change the font this is going to change all the jewel items together so if I go times new romans they're all times new romans whatever is selected here will be affected so at the moment that's aerial but if I take it down to let's have a look what have I got uh, I've got Myriad Pro so let's do a Myriad Pro so it gives me a slightly different look on Myriad Pro and of course I can change its font size and make it 72 so you can play around with all of these bits and pieces and create the look that you want and then if you want to export it say actually I want to re-edit this however it might be so I can go to export it call it credit roll 2 perhaps and then click save this is going back to my desktop however I just want you to show when I import it it's going to be slightly different so if I go file open and I go and find that one credit roll 2 and I double click to open it says uh, how do you want to open it what do you want to do I'm gonna see Windows default it's gonna look like that each roll it's gonna look slightly different if you go to other encoding Unicode leave it as Unicode as it comes in other encoding Unicode and it, you'll be able to read it so I'm gonna click OK but it actually has added a lot more information so it's given me all this information notice it's all got these double slashes telling me that these lines will be ignored okay so it's showing me what we can do and then it tells me for instance if you need to include leading spaces in an entry use quotation marks two column entries items begin with a leading space and columns are separated by a tab so it tells you bits and pieces that are useful to know you can change the bits and pieces and you can re-import it which I'm not going to do but you can do that so if I want to save this style say I want to change the background color actually so the background color I want it to be semi-transparent not fully transparent but semi-transparent with some darkening it down a bit like that okay I like that so I can export that style so if I export that I'm going to go to my desktop at the moment it says credit roll XML save okay that's now saved it's on my desktop so next time I want to create something that's in the same line so the series might be burning and the next one might be lava okay I can import the text or modify the text and bring it in and then I can bring in the style and the style will look the same so you can have continuity one program to the next so that's working with rolling credits inside of Sony Vegas another one of the media generators very powerful very easy to use and there are lots of different options I hope you found this tutorial useful my name's Andrew Davis and thanks for watching